Dr. Dennis Locks of Sports Regenerative Medicine Centers has the expertise to treat some of the best athletes in the world through cutting edge stem cell therapy, including former Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Derek Brooks and Ian Beckles. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. What an honor morning. to have all three of you uh, sitting in our uh, studio this morning. Dr. Locks, let's start with you because I, I do think that injuries are a big, unfortunately, mm -hmm. part of sports. You've had a chance, as we, we uh, just mentioned, treating some of the best athletes in the world with some really technology that is kind of just being found out about here in recent years. Tell me a little bit more, and I can't wait to hear about their stories and how they found you. <clears throat> well, I, about 20 years ago, said someday we'll have stem cells. So I got in very early, and I had many injuries myself. So I was one of the few people in the country doing it and people going overseas. And uh, a few years back, I've been doing about eight or so years, I was talking to Dr. James Andrews, a world-renowned orthopedic surgeon, mm -hmm. and he was very interested in it because all the athletes were going to Germany. And so we were chatting, and then, lo and behold, now he has a stem cell guy, Adam Ants, in his practice, and I lecture around the world with some of the top experts, and Adam has lectured with me on several occasions and so when James Andrews is doing it um, <laughs> you are now okay to do it but a years ago people were thinking hey what is this you know is this okay to do but um, it, it's becoming extremely acceptable and very common and it w is that fair to say Derek with you like when yes. you first hear about okay what is stem cell therapy what are we about to do I mean mm -hmm. talk about kind of what that initial reaction is and when you hear from Ian Beckles and and people who mm -hmm. it's working on what were your thoughts well my thoughts uh, first of all and going to my orthopedic here in town Chet Janicki uh, we were looking at options uh, for my wrist at the time of non-surgical options mm -hmm. that helped me get better outside the normal treatment. And I would heard Ian talk about stem cell, stem cell therapy a lot, you know, on the radio. So I called him up and I said, hey, you know, give me the scoop, you know, <laughs> the real scoop. about stem cell. How do you feel? You know, what's going on? You know, tell me about this Dr. Locks guy. <laughs> so he starts to tell me uh, about the procedures and how he'd had it done and how it started to obviously help him feel a lot better, uh, being that he's, you know, been through a lot more in the trenches than I did. Uh, it caught my attention. So I told uh, Dr. Janik about it. That he mm -hmm. uh, was one of the first orthopedics to have a serious interest in it, and he called Dr. Locks and uh, they chatted, and I've been doing it now for a couple of years and feel great. Yeah, just with Dr. Andrews, and you know, you're, you're hearing other doctors going, wait a minute, I want to kind of find out more. And Ian, let's get you in here because I do think this is interesting. There's got to be obviously some behind the scenes talk going mm -hmm. on and what really works. Again, injury is such a big part, unfortunately, of this sport yes. that you guys uh, played. So it, is it kind of exciting to let other, you know, team members know about this and, and that, hey, it's working, it's changing. First of all, oh, we're Derek was in the trenches, but he was just too fast. <laughs> he, he was just too fast. We couldn't touch him. And uh, I was injured often. Touché. Okay, I was injured often. It's not really about injury. It's about wear and tear. Mm -hmm. And Derek was never injured. And he, if he, when he opens his jacket, there's an ass on his chest <laughs> <laughs> because he's a freak. Okay, I was injured all the time. But it was the wear and tear of football. Mm -hmm. You know, later on, that was that was getting gets most older players. Mm -hmm. And Derek knows now when I see. Older older players limping around, first thing I say is stem cell therapy. Mm -hmm. You got to, because it's not about surgery. Mm -hmm. Nothing is torn. You can't, it's not gonna get better. And stem cell therapy is the one thing I believe that is gonna mm -hmm. kind of make you feel younger in an odd way. Well, and I would think, that, you know, especially with football, I think there's a mm -hmm. lot of attention on how to prevent injuries, the treatment afterwards. I mean, do we see that this is kind of oh. where the future of treatment is going? Yes, I do, and again, the, the part about what was unique for me is it was done in the wrist, and that's not usually most people do it in the knees and the bigger joints, mm -hmm. but to go in this smaller area, for me, again, that mm -hmm. nothing's torn, it's just wear and tear, yeah. as Ian said, we really started to be uncomfortable daily. Mm -hmm. So for us to really, and again, Doc was uh, very on it and saying, hey, this is how it's gonna happen, this area, very educational mm -hmm. about it as well. We had two visits even before we even did the procedure. And I think that just goes to show the type of person he is because mm -hmm. he don't want to work with you or on you until you're comfortable and educated yeah. about the process. 
And once we did it, and again, I still we go through the same process uh, with every treatment, and my wife attended the last time All right. uh, that, that was I did fun. it to see. So. Man, couple days away, we are ready for the season. How are you guys <laughs> feeling sitting back watching? People are excited. This, I mean, I know every year before game, you know, the season mm -hmm. starts, it's like, okay, we have, a, we have a good team. We could pull this off this year. Yes. It seems extra special this year. Yeah, it's, it's a buzz. And I think the men have deserved to be in this position over the last couple of years. They've built the team into this position where the core of the team is still together. And that's some of the similarities I see when we turned it around, when, when in our teammates is a core group of guys stayed together and played a lot of football together. And that's, again, a key ingredient as I see going into this season is the experience of this team. And I've been very bold. I mm -hmm. predict them to win the division or at least make the playoffs. Yeah. That's the type of team that I see that'll be I on like the field. It. I now, like it. obviously a lot of things have to go your way, but right now I think they have the least the talent to do it. Cause last couple of years they've been on the brink, you know, of being talked about in December. The first year was there was, what is this? And they didn't win another game. Last year they were expected to be there, but didn't know how to handle that attention and they didn't finish strong. This year, I think they put it all together. I think so, too. Uh, we we're, we're, uh, need to wrap up here, but what I love, experience on the field matters, experience in the doctor's office matters. These are not your only uh, athletes and, and other, um, you know, pretty important people that you need to make sure the pressure is, I think, even extra high when you're yes. working on these people. Name some of those well, real quick, because um, I do think it's important well, to note. Ellie Wiesel, a Nobel mm. Prize winning author. And as I walked in the room, I didn't know what to say. If we shake his hand or what? And before I said anything, he said, I've heard a lot of good things about you. So. And we all had uh... I had to regroup and then I said, <laughs> and die of you, sir. Yeah. That well, was a good again, moment. Again, a lot of people talking a lot of good things about you, again, from athletes here. Thank you, uh, all three of you gentlemen, for joining us this morning. And uh, we know you guys are busy, so we'll let you get to it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. And again, for more on Dr. Locks, there is his number and his website to find out more as well.